Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will prove Factor Theorem. We will also give examples involving Factor Theorem. Let us begin. Factor Theorem states that the polynomial x minus c is a factor of polynomial p of x if and only if p of c is equal to 0. Let us use the division algorithm p of x is equal to q of x times quantity x minus c plus r, where p of x is the dividend, q of x is the quotient, x minus c is the divisor, and r is the remainder. By the remainder theorem, r is equal to p of c. Let us substitute p of c to r in this equation. And we have p of x is equal to q of x times quantity x minus c, and r becomes p of c. Since p of c is equal to 0, according to factor theorem, let us substitute 0 to p of c in this equation. And we have p of x is equal to q of x times quantity x minus c, and p of c becomes 0. And q of x times quantity x minus c plus 0 is equal to q of x times quantity x minus c. Therefore, we have p of x is equal to q of x times quantity x minus c. And this is the proof of factor theorem. Let us discuss some examples. Example number 1. Is x minus 4 a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x plus 8? In this example, x minus 4 is of the form x minus c, where c is equal to 4. Let p of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x plus 8. Let us substitute 4 to x in this equation. p of x becomes p of 4, x cubed becomes 4 cubed, minus 2x squared becomes minus 2 times 4 squared, minus 10x becomes minus 10 times 4 plus 8. Let us simplify. We have p of 4 equals 4 cubed or 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64. Next, we have 4 squared or 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 16 times negative 2 is equal to negative 32. Next, we have negative 10 times 4 is equal to negative 40 plus 8. And we have p of 4 is equal to 64 minus 32 minus 40 plus 8 is equal to 0. And since p of 4 is equal to 0, x minus 4 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x plus 8. Example number 2. Is x plus 1 a factor of 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x plus 18? In this example, x minus c is equal to x plus 1. The value of c is equal to negative 1. Let p of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x plus 18. Let us substitute negative 1 to x in this equation. p of x becomes p of negative 1. 4x cubed becomes 4 times cube of negative 1. Minus 7x squared becomes minus 7 times square of negative 1. Plus 5x becomes plus 5 times negative 1 plus 18. Let us simplify. P of negative 1 equals cube of negative 1 or negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 is equal to negative 4. Next, we have square of negative 1 or negative 1 times negative 1 which is equal to positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 7 is equal to negative 7. 
Next, we have 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5 plus 18. And we have b of negative 1 equals negative 4 minus 7 is equal to negative 11. Negative 11 minus 5 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 18 is equal to positive 2. P of negative 1 is not equal to 0. Last example, example number 3. Let us find the value of k for which the binomial x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus k x squared plus 5x plus 21. In this example, x minus 3 is of the form x minus c, where c is equal to 3. Let p of x is equal to x cubed minus k x squared plus 5x plus 21. Let us substitute 3 to x in this equation. p of x becomes p of 3 equals x cubed becomes 3 cubed minus k x squared becomes minus k times 3 squared plus 5x becomes plus 5 times 3 plus 21. Let us equate this to 0 since according to factor theorem, p of 3 is equal to 0. Let us simplify. 3 cubed or 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. Next, we have 3 squared or 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 times negative k is equal to negative 9k. Next, we have 5 times 3 is equal to 15 plus 21 equals 0. 27 plus 15 plus 21 is equal to 63. And we have 63 minus 9k equals 0. We need to isolate negative 9k by adding negative 63 to both sides of this equation. 63 plus negative 63 is equal to 0. 0 minus 9k is equal to negative 9k. 0 plus negative 63 is equal to negative 63. And we have negative 9k is equal to negative 63. To solve for k, we need to divide both sides of this equation by negative 9. Negative 9k divided by negative 9 is equal to k. Negative 63 divided by negative 9 is equal to 7. Therefore, the value of k is equal to 7. And we are done discussing the factor theorem. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.